let's take a look at the molarity of pure water. That's H2O. So two things. First of all, it does need to be pure water. And second of all, it should be at 25 degrees Celsius. So those are the conditions we're working with here. So let's start out. Molarity equals moles over liters. So we're looking for molarity and we're going to have to assume a certain number of liters. Probably easiest, we could just assume one liter. So we have one liter here. And then for the moles, we need to figure that out. How many moles of water are in one liter of water? So when you look at one liter of water, one liter of water weighs one kilogram at 25 degrees Celsius, 1,000 grams. So if we could convert 1,000 grams to moles, if we can get this to moles, then we can just solve for molarity of the pure water here. So not too bad. So let's get 1,000 grams of water to moles. So when we go from moles to grams, we divide by the molar mass of the substance, in this case, H2O. And if you find the molar mass for water, you'll see that that's 18.02, and the units are grams per mole. If you need help finding the molar mass for water, there'll be a link at the end of this video. So we have grams on the top and the bottom. They cancel out. We're going to divide 1,000 by 18.02, and we end up with 55.49. And the units are going to be moles here. You'll often see this rounded to 55.5. So let's just put that back in our equation. Molarity equals moles over liters. We said we have one liter. We said that one liter is 1,000 grams of water. And that is 55.49 moles. So when we divide 55.49 by one, we get 55.49. So the molarity of pure water is 55.49 moles per liter. That's its molarity. That's how you do it. It's Dr. B. Thanks for watching.